bitch, Jack. You scared the shit out of me. How'd you get in here? You, you know, don't even answer that. Why don't you be like normal people and use the damn front door? Uh, what are you doing, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. You got to lighten up some. Yeah. You know me. Yeah, I know you. That's the problem, man. Hey, what is your belt? What ranking are you? You know, I, I got to like a second degree. <laughs> and then the... Uh, he just brought me up out uh, of Delford Fort, the late Delford Fort, the master. He came up one day and he awarded me a black belt from the Yellow Tigers. Okay. And I, I was proud to have that. So, again, the, the, the realism of the stunts from Active Engines and now Fatal Brew, that's why, you know, it's a dead giveaway. There is some talent and skill there. So, yes. it's very, very good. And, yeah. you, and you know what I like the most is he, he messed up when he let me find out that he, he had took acting before. Oh, and then I found out he was into martial arts, and that's all <laughs> it took. I, 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 I was all in then. So how, what, is, what is the role of uh, Phil in this movie, Fatal Group? What is your role? You know, uh, Tony is my role in the movie, and uh, my brother's Valentino. Okay. And uh, we're business people. My brother's a multimillionaire, invests in this uh, energy drink, and it goes sour along with the mafia essay and uh, he gets caught up the wrong crowd and I I as well as my sister Faye have a I was just this. so it's a family affair yeah, it's a family it. affair yes so yeah I don't want to give up too much but it's uh that's the director the writer and the actor himself he'll tell you yes. a little more about that a little later so, so Tom so again with directing and you are you're in the movie as well as you're a writer director stunt choreographer i say even sometimes a chauffeur and a caterer <laughs> and a janitor you you basically have put a little bit of everything of yourself in there and you're in the movie what is your role in this movie my role is is uh i'm a i'm a friend of of uh of tony's in the film and i, I kind of got a secret background i love playing those kind of characters <laughs> by the way and and uh and and uh whenever Whenever Tony's character need me, I'm always there. Even when he don't know I'm there, I'm there. Okay. You know, so that's the kind of character that I am. And whenever he needs my help, yeah. I'm always I'm always there for him. Are you a good guy, bad guy, or should we wait for the? Oh, well, he's you? definitely a good guy. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. But a bad guy to me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Put a lot of pressure on me. But how was yep. it? How was it in directing yourself as well as getting in front of the camera? You know, isn't that like you you putting too much oh, on your shoulders? It it it's it's rough. Uh, you have to have somebody that you can really really depend on camera wise and that's why I ran into a little problem at. Uh, but we was able to pull it off but I ran into a lot of problems with you know I would sit up the fight scene, sit up the camera angles and then you got to have that trust with the camera person to be okay. able to shoot the, the angles that you want and that's where we had a little problem at but we, we, we solved it. Was, it. was it frustrating in trying to do so much? Oh it was very frustrating. At any point did you say you know what the hell with this let me, let me just find oh, something else? Oh it was very very frustrating. I mean I, he, and I talk to him all the time how, how frustrated you know about the frustration but I would never show it. Right right. Uh, in get, front of people. You don't get awesome like that because you don't let it out enough. You don't <laughs> kick something beat on something and all mm -hmm. but the, the frustration and, of it. And the one person that I could never fool was him. He knew when something was wrong. Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, he knows. Yeah. What frustrations or if any that you have in doing it? Because um, your role in this film, again, Fatal Brew, is a little more elaborate than it was in Act of Vengeance, I believe. So you you went more deeper into the acting aspect. You went more deeper into the stunts and the fighting. So yeah, how was that? That's correct. He, uh, th this this last one, it had more emotion as well because uh, people get hurt and people died. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. Uh, I was a nice guy in this movie. The last, the previous movie, I was with the Scarface character, to yeah, say. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had our ups and downs. We had a few people that got sick on us. We've had a few mishaps with the uh, equipment, and then uh, we had a few people that were put away, so, per se. You know, they had to go for a couple years. Okay. And so that's why it took so long, to be honest with you. How long? Uh, how long has it been in making this movie? It's approximately four years. Four years. Yeah, because our our main lead got some kind of problems and had to go away. Okay. So we had to go ahead and we lost all that footage was really about a year and a half to two years of footage. So we had to use different characters for that. Okay. But that was the major drawback and of course uh, a few people got <clears throat> sick. Yeah. You so know. Any, at any point did you feel like you know it's it's a I, I told Tom personally I could not have done it to be able to hold together a crew or a, a cast and all of the things needed um, is there any point that you would say, well, by the way, how many people are in this movie? How many actors and acting scenes did you have? I mean, overall. 
it, it, about hundred. It's a little over. It's a little over hundred people. Over hundred. Yeah, people. Probably, yeah, approximately one hundred fifty. We used mm -hmm. uh, and and the good thing is we used local talent. Okay. And such a low budget. I mean, uh, everybody got what they wanted as far as the background training, the experience. Because right. that's what you do when you uh, shoot for movies like this. The actors, the local actors on. And the uh, technical support from the backgrounds that well, we did. Because I know you and Tom put the actors, uh, myself included, through stunt camps and choreographed the fight routines and things like that. But wasn't it? Was it at any point you said it's just oh yeah, too much of a headache? yeah yeah. You you do get frustrated, but that that goes with the territory. I mean, it's not like uh, one of these big uh, Hollywood scenes or Bollywood where they're. All that money's poured into it and expected back. Right, Because right. we, we had a low budget, number one. So what made you, what, what kept you going if it wasn't that? Oh, my trust with, uh, with him from the previous, I knew he'd pull, he'd pull through. Oh, okay. Okay, and it wasn't his fault. You know, things happen. Yeah, oh, like People will blame, say, uh, hey, the producer's not there, the director's not there. But it wasn't entirely his fault. Oh, I remember there was sometimes there was snowstorms. Oh, was absolutely. Too cold, yeah, was you were there, Corbin. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm there. saying. So there were times that even I was saying, wow, is this going to get made? But... What kept Tom going? It's like the Energizer Bunny. When I'm thinking this is it, this is, but he just sat back and said, "We'll just reschedule." And I'm like, "Wow, I didn't, you know." So that type of um, attitude is infectious. It, 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 it travels down to the crew and to the cast to be able to say, "If he can shoulder all of this and still go on with it, we can do it as well." So it's, I'm glad that it has been completed and all. So it's a testament again to how I feel that Tom is going to be the next Tyler Perry. I'm going to say that every chance that I get. The guy has, been, has made miracles happen. You know, he's an asset to Detroit and to the entertainment industry. Not only does he got a martial arts background, the gentleman's multi-talented. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and people like Tom, they're very hard to come by. Oh, yeah. Oh, Seriously. Yeah. And you have to appreciate him because it gives the local talent some way to get their experience before they hit the big screen. I can testify okay. to that. And, and, and that's really what's basically about, whether it be uh, behind the cameras or in front of the cameras. He's given the people in Detroit an opportunity to at least experience what good scenography is about. There we go. And that, again, Tom has, again, gave me my first chance when I never even thought about acting. So, again, yeah. thank you. I'm always putting it out there. Oh, yeah. Immortalizing Stone. So, what are some of the future plans of Dragon Films and the Wilder Production? What is, what's going on, I guess, with that? By the way, this film opens January the 8th, 2020, Royal Oak Main Theater, right. premiere, red carpet premiere. So, are you already in the midst of, you know, figuring out the next movie? Yes, I am. It, 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 Wait, Tom, let's get this one over. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like a, a, a hit of an idea. By the way, how do you get your ideas? What is it that, that, that will strike your attention to say, this would make a good story? I, I, I sit back and, and, and look at all the movies that's coming out and see what's, you know, what's, what's going on now. What's the, hot, what's the hot item that's happening now? And that's, then I start putting ideas together, you know, from that. I, I just want to be able to adapt to what's happening now, and and once I see something that it, that looks like it's hot, then I start getting ideas. Then I get to writing them down. I I talk with Bill or I call him, and uh, sometimes I call him about two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. When I get an idea, I, I don't never sleep. So never hardly get no sleep. So we can we can. Fair, it's safe to say you have an idea ready, and when this one, it, it's it's from the way that the activity and the publicity around the Fatal Brew premiere look like it's gonna be a big production, big premiere. It's gonna be something definitely memorable. So you're already before the dust settles, ready to you know fire off on the next one. Yep. So okay, so we do that guy as to what what yep. it is. And, and I'm going to leave that a question mark. Okay. Trust me. All right. Trust me. I got another one up my sleeve. And, and uh, I always laugh at this guy because I'm always got him doing something crazy. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, always. And I, uh, and when you say, uh, tell me I can't do it, I say, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you can. Away, so that, that, that's his favorite little thing you can do it because I would have I never got in front of the camera if it wasn't for him.